Hello everybody, this is Jim Bob Fred. Welcome back to another edition of Gaming with Jim Bob Fred. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about AVA. If you haven't already seen my uh, uh, AVA The Basics 101 uh, video, check that out. That kind of gives folks an idea of what to expect for just how to register and, and all that other stuff. Today I'm going to be talking a, a little bit about the strategies and how you can get into and what you need to do to win AVA. Um, so I've captured a copy of the battleground map. I'll share that with you here. This is what the map looks like. I'm going to go into it with more detail as I go along through here. But really, um, what I want to do on this video is just kind of go through what the developers have put out. The page I'm on right now, you can get to um, through the blog section. I encourage everybody to get out there and read it. I don't know why folks don't, but because you don't, and I do, you all come to my channel. So thanks for not doing what you should be doing, I guess. Or not, because I'd like to have a dialogue. If I say something wrong or put something out that you disagree with, put it in the comments below. Uh, if you like the video, share it with uh, some of your friends. Hit the like button if you like it. And by all means, if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That'll keep me coming back and putting out some product that I believe you're looking to see. So we're going to just go through this real quick. Uh, it's it's not that difficult of a um an event, it's actually one of the best events they have because it's a zero risk to the player event. What I mean by that is you will lose no troops, 100% of them, at the end of the event will come back and you won't have to use any resources to get them back. None. Now, if you do use um, resources while you're in it, if you use speed ups while you're in it, uh, like march speed ups or um, resources to heal or gold, that's lost. You don't get that back. Right or teleports, you don't get those back. But your troops at the end will all come back, and that's the biggest expense to any of these events. So it's a great opportunity to learn how to fight other people. ABA is Alliance versus Alliance. Uh, once you've registered with your team, it'll match you up with some other alliance, either in your state or outside of your state, but within the scope of the uh, ABA realm for those that are registered, right? Um, it gives you two time slots that you can pick from. I did that in my uh, other video. So uh, really what I want to go down to here is, you know, kind of what I didn't cover in the first part. You know, so I did the registration, the match, and now I'm going to talk about the battle, right? So this time around, our alliance got matched with someone from uh, another state that's a little bit older than us, um, but they are not the top tiered uh, alliance in that state. So... Um, they're a little overmatched, or but we they're a little overpowered by us, right? So I really hope they show up. Uh, if nothing else, we can we can uh, have some fun, and I'll, I'll even spend some time teaching them some of the tactics that I'll talk about today. But the goal in ABA is to score the most uh, points, both for your alliance and then individually as well. Okay, so let me just scroll past most of this stuff in here. I want to get the how to score point stuff. The how to score point stuff is the most important because that's how you determine who wins ABA. Okay? Um, you score points by occupying buildings, first and foremost. The first to occupy, and when, what I mean by that is once you get into a building, you have to hold it until uh, it, it says that you've occupied it, right? So it's a countdown. I think it's one or two minutes or something like that. But once you've done it, you'll start scoring points. But each building has its maximum points that it can score. So let me get back to the map over here. You'll see at the very top of this map, there's a battalion, a teleport station, and a blockhouse. If you're the first person to get into the teleport station and hold it long enough to start scoring points, you're first to occupy. You get bonuses for being first to occupy, as well as points for occupying it over time. Okay? So... And then each one of these buildings has their own special purposes. For example, these teleport stations, when you start this event, you only have 20 teleports for your entire alliance. Uh, when it starts, you're going to port into one side or the other. You'll see a blue box on the right and a red box on the left. Your team will end up, on, all of them will port into that little box, either on the right or the left, for which, whichever one it is. When you port in, you only have 20 teleports. Like, that's the most that your team can use during the event unless you take over and occupy teleport stations. Once you take over and occupy teleport stations, those 20 teleports you have refresh. 
right? So, so long as you have at least one teleport station, you'll be able, able to get additional teleports for your team to use. Now, if you don't have any of them, then when you've used your 20, you're done. You cannot teleport anywhere else around on the map. So they're pretty important to have, okay? Uh, we'll talk about that more here in just a little bit. So you can heal your troops during the event in the lower left-hand side of your screen, there's a little box that'll have a red red dot in the right hand, upper right-hand corner. Just click that. That'll help you. That'll show you where your troops are and how you can heal them. Um, so you can revive them while you're in the event, but the resources that you use to revive them are gone. But you know, it's a it, it is what it is. Bring extra resources with you. What do you need to bring? That's a good question. Thanks for asking, Jim Bob. You got to bring with you some march speed uh, boosts. Um, you probably want to have anti scout on when you get in there. You want to have some attack boosts, and you got to have some teleports to port around and do some stuff, okay? I might want to have um, uh, your gathering boost on as well, because you can score points in this event by gathering after the first 30 minutes have expired. As you can see, you can use speed ups, uh, and you can heal instantly um, using gold in here, right? When this but at the end, all of your troops, again, are healed instantly. Well, I want to keep repeating myself. So personal points. Uh, if you send troops to reinforce a building, you're going to get points for reinforcing. There's a max number of points that the Alliance can get per type of building, um, but you can score points on that afterwards. And this is one of those events where you want to score well for both your Alliance and individually. The, the prizes they give are pretty stinking cool, right? So um, Blockhouse. Let's just go back to here where it's at. So in the top, you'll see there's actually um, a couple block houses, one at the top and one at the bottom, right? Uh, those are initially some of the ones that will open up. So when the event first, when you first go in this event, there's a timer set. You can look all over the map, you just can't port anyway. Eventually you're gonna be able to teleport wherever you want on here, but you still won't be able to attack a building, right? So these outside buildings, these battalions, the Eagle Fort teleport station, uh, the block houses and wolf fort those all kind of open up early and then two or three minutes later the interior buildings open up right and then you want to get those as well so um block house have their own little boosts of troop attack and defense life so if you have the block house and you're occupying a block house your whole alliance is going to get that benefit of having it so your attack and defense and life all go up now, the teleport stations, like I said, they only, you only get 20 to go, those give you some extra. In the Belfry, and the Belfry is located right below the Capitol in the center. So you see the big blue Capitol building in the middle of this map, right below it is the Belfry. That's the one we're talking about right now. The amount of time it takes to occupy any of the other building drops from 180 seconds to 120 seconds, right? So from three minutes down to two minutes. So that's a pretty good buff, buff to have. You actually start getting the points a little bit earlier. Um, you'll also see the post right here, conquer the post and ultimately your Alliance will get a march speed boost. This map isn't very big. You can probably march from one corner uh, diagonally to the other corner uh, relatively quickly with a couple speed ups. You can get there in less than five minutes, I think. But it sure is nice to get that 50% march speed boost when you're in the game. Um, it just makes your stuff move a little bit quicker. Uh, personal points won't be cleared unless you leave the battlefield. Um, in, this, in this event, guys, gals, when you're in there, don't leave the battlefield until the event is over. Just sit in the corner, put a shield on if you're all done, and wait for the event to end. Any points that you scored during the event, if you leave, you lose. So don't do that, right? Um, and again, one, once you once you get back from this thing, you get everything back anyway, right? So don't take any resources you're not willing to lose if someone wants to try to take them all from you. And so that's AVA, how you get in and score some points. Now, getting back to this map, <clears throat> I'm gonna share with you guys a little bit of the strategy that we're going to use uh, tonight. This is just one of many strategies. And this strategy is called the, uh, I call it, <laughs> the strandum strategy. What I mean by that is <clears throat> our goal tonight when we do our AVA is going to be to take over all six teleport stations and keep them for the entire event. Our opponents have about 36 players registered. And if they only get 20 uh, 
teleports and we can take all six of these teleport stations and keep them and keep the, our opponents from getting them, they become stranded and it, it makes it really hard for them to do anything beyond um, setting up rallies and marching to wherever they want to go. So when we first start this event, we've got folks designated. We've actually broken this map up into seven different zones. I'm going to share it with you because I don't mind sharing. It's only one of our strategies anyway. So here's the seven zones that we broke them into. So you'll see in the left, zone one includes the battalion, a Eagle Fort, and a teleport station. We have some of our folks designated to go into that spot, and those are the three buildings that they're going to focus on. That's it. Nothing else. Same thing with zones two, three, and four. Those folks are all going to port at the beginning, and they're going to be ready to take and reinforce all of those buildings all at the same time. So we'll have individual people ready to take each of those buildings simultaneously, and then those people reinforcing each of those buildings at the same time as well. Now that's just the plan. If they get in there and can manage to take a building before we do, then we've got to rally them and get it back. Two minutes later, when these interior buildings open up, we've got three different teams assigned to those. And those are a little bit higher point scoring things too. Well, generally speaking, they are, right? So the capital for sure is the biggest building in this game, in this event to get and keep. If you get the capital building, you keep it for the whole time, Chances are you're going to do a pretty good, you're going to have a pretty good uh, chance of having won your ABA. Now, the three biggest scoring buildings in the game are Eagle Fort, Capital, and Wolf Fort, followed by battalions, and then blockhouses, and then your teleport stations, along with the post and belfry out the last. So, I just shared our strategy. We map this out. We give people specific assignments. Anyone joining ABA with uh, my team tonight has a specific target to go after. We have we have a team of people that are designed to rove around, but our strategy is to is basically to strand everybody in our opponent's team once they've used their initial 20 teleports. I call it the strand effect. <laughs> we'll see if it works. I'll give you an update. I wanted to do this before the event so that I had something y'all could look at. Um, and kind of digest before I actually show us in the event doing what we're doing because once it every, uh, once we get started, it's just a plan. If the plan falls through completely, then we're just going to be like everyone else, going to be like ants at a picnic trying to figure out what the heck to do. We do utilize um, Line and Discord so that we can do um, real-time voice communications so that we're not trying to type all of our stuff into the event when we're doing it. I hope this video is something that you all enjoyed looking at. I hope it uh, shed a little bit of light for some of your folks. Remember, it's a war game, folks. If you're not out there attacking or defending, you should pick a different game. There's no such thing as a bully. And once again, if you liked it, hit the like button, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, this is Jim Bob Fred. Be blessed. Be safe. I'm out.